Hi guys! This is, I promise, my last unboxing for probably a couple of months, hopefully. <laughs> so I recently ordered something off eBay. It is a pre-loved Louis Vuitton item, so I figured I would do a true unboxing here on my channel. I have only opened the box just to make this process a little easier. I'm going to insert an annotation here where you can skip straight to the unboxing because you guys know I love to talk. We have to do a little chit chat. <laughs> this is an item that was first on my radar probably Maybe not a year ago, but at least over six months ago. And I always talk about my girl on my channel because she just keeps me hip to all the designer things because I don't really pay attention anymore because I'm not trying to shop. <laughs> so um, her name is Kelly. I will link her channel down below. She actually got this piece and then like the sister piece to it, which is the larger version. And she was just talking about how amazing it was. And at the same time, I started looking at the Toiletry 26, which I got last month or the month before. Yeah, the month before. And she just kept telling me that this product is amazing and that I really needed this piece. And then I started looking on YouTube. It is a retired piece. I don't know if I said that. So I started looking on YouTube and I started looking at all the reviews and unboxings and wear and tear. And I said, I need this piece because you guys know I'm obsessed with smaller the goods right now. So... It was a hunt to find this item. I did get it from eBay. At the end of this video, I will leave some um, tips and tricks for buying pre-loved things online. Now, I do a lot of my buying through eBay just because I think they have a large market. There are other websites that you can use that I'll talk about later, but I decided to use eBay because it had the largest market and the best prices because you're not going through like an actual store. So, this little baby had to come home with me after I saw the condition it was in. Actually, I think my friend picked this piece out for me months ago and I was so undecided about it, but I was like, you know what, just pull the trigger because you need it. So, without further ado, let's get to it. This is just my invoice. That's really nice. And here's the item. It came in some bubble wrap. You guys, I'm really excited. So, this came from Japan. Let me tell you the seller. Okay, the seller is DCT-EP, and I will um, leave that down below. I'll leave a link to it, but they kind of give you this paper talking about returns and all that jazz and their contact information. So this is my item. This is like legit packaging, you guys. I'm so excited. Of course, it's not coming with a dust bag, but because of the nature of this item, it really doesn't matter. Can anyone guess what I got? I'm so excited. Leave it down below if you can guess what I got. If you are like a Louis Vuitton addict, you probably know. I got the Louis Vuitton Trouse 23. Let's smell it. Oh, wow. It has a very faint smell, and you guys, smell is something that's very personal to me. So when I smell this, I think of my French piano teacher when I was a kid. This is how she smelled. It smells like an old piano. <laughs> and inside, there's virtually no smell. So this is what the Trouse 23 looks like. Like I said, this is a discontinued piece, so you can really only find it on the pre-loved market. I purchased this for $258 which is a little on the high side, but I'll tell you why I really wanted this piece. If you take a look at the outside and all the corners, there's virtually nowhere. If you look at the zipper, the zipper is a little stiff, but I'm sure there's something I could do to loosen that up. The zipper pull is in great condition. There's a couple of spots where it's tarnishing, but it's nothing too bad. The zipper on top looks nice. It is a little bit right here, but it's just gonna get banged up in my luggage. But the real reason why this piece had to go home with me and I didn't mind paying $258 is because of the inside. Now, when you look at a lot of trouse pieces on the pre-loved market, they are a little older. This is a piece that was discontinued, I believe, around 2009, thanks to my friends over at the Purse Forum. Um, so like I said, this was discontinued in 2009, and per my date code, this piece was made in, I know it's 2008, I'm just trying to see the date code. Okay, here we go. I can barely see, y'all. This was made in France in the 25th, the 25th week of 2008 so 
this piece is fairly new when talking about Louis Vuitton trousers. A lot of pieces that people tend to get on the pre-love market can be like 20 years old. So that's why I really wanted this piece. If you look inside, there's virtually nowhere. The inside is very clean. There's no stickiness, which sometimes happens with older pieces because of the humidity when you're keeping these items in like a bathroom because it is a toiletry case. Um, the elastics right here, these little elastic pieces are in great condition and the newer pieces actually have this little leather tab right here. So I was just so impressed with the quality of this piece. I had to have it. Now, if you're wondering why I needed another toiletry pouch, <laughs> I'm going to do a video after this one all about how I pack my travel essentials. But basically the toiletry 26 is very thin and tall and I just just think for toiletry items it's best to have something that's a little more shallow and wide so that's really why I like this but I'm going to use this for all of my cosmetics because these type of bags with the small opening on top they're just not doing it I tend to bring a lot of makeup when I travel so I really wanted this and I'm so happy to get it so thank you to my girl Kelly because she put it on my radar as with most things nowadays and yeah i'm just so so happy to have this piece so now i want to talk a little bit about going about buying pre-owned and my tips so if you are going to go the route of buying like auction style or buying from ebay um i would say look for sellers that are from japan i believe the rules about selling counterfeits in japan are a lot more strict in the u.s so I mean, even when you go on to look for certain items, you're going to find that you have a wide range of products coming from Japan anyway. So the selection is there. Um, I also like eBay, like I said, because it's not coming from like a brick and mortar. So there's not like fees on top of fees on top of fees. You just get like the base price. And a lot of the times these items are cheaper. I know when I looked at this item on Fashion File, I believe comparable quality ones which really weren't even as good as this they were going for in the 300 so for me to have only paid 258 for something in like nearly pristine condition is really awesome so um as far as websites there's fashion file there's is it yugi's or yogi's closet there's trade z um, you have to be careful on Tradesy though because I was on there one night looking for a toiletry pouch. This was when I was looking for the 26 and they do sell fakes on there. So be careful about that. Um, a lot of the times it will just be a replica item and they will say it in the description even though I don't believe you're supposed to sell them overall. But so yeah be kind of cautious about Tradesy. But with any website or auction site that you're using whether you're buying from a Facebook group or a friend have your items authenticated if you are in doubt now for me I'm pretty good at looking at items and telling whether or not they're real or not just because I've been buying Louis Vuitton for forever and depending on the date code there are certain features you should be looking for so like this is the redesigned later model if it was probably a 1980 design the zipper pull will be different or maybe even a 1990 like an early 90s design the zipper pull will be different this is the new um zipper pull from louis vuitton the old ones have um there's like a bigger opening it's hard to describe but the zipper pulls will change or little variations on the inside even as far as like how this little leather patch is here on the earlier models of this product they don't have that so those are things you should look out for um, and you're gonna find those variations by doing your research so the purse form is a great great tool um, when I was heavy into buying bags I would be on that site every day looking at you know different details on authentic bags so that you know what to look for when you're shopping on eBay and sites like that but once again you do kind of have more security when you're shopping from the Japan sites but if you are in doubt I would say get your items authenticated there are sites that do authentication for a small fee now you also can get your items authenticated on the purse form but they have these new rules now or I don't know if they're new but like when I first got into Louis Vuitton I was able to get items authenticated on the purse form I'm not too active on it now just because I pretty much know what to look for and I'm not buying but now certain authenticators say that you have to be active on the forum and it's like who has time to post every day all day I don't so um, I just did my own authentication but 
if I were really worried about this piece, I would have it authenticated. Another thing you can do if you're ever in doubt about a piece uh, after you buy it, you can take it to the Louis Vuitton store. While they won't do an actual authentication, you can say like, I'd like to have this zipper pull replaced or the corners or something like that because they will only repair items that are authentic. So that's the kind of way of getting around Louis Vuitton authentication um, because they don't necessarily authenticate. But so yeah, and also when shopping on eBay, I would look at seller feedback. I would look at what else the seller is selling. Now, if you're buying from a seller in Japan that's selling handbags or accessories like this seller that I use, they sell tons of other bags. Now, if it's just one item, like if it's just this item and it's a seller from the United States and everything else is a kitchen item, I might kind of look at it weird because it's like... You have one item and then there's all this other stuff, but you can't always go by that. Look at the feedback, read the feedback, look at the rating, be skeptical, do your own research and get items authenticated. When in doubt, either don't buy or get it authenticated. But luckily I have some favorite sellers, which I will also link down below, who either I've purchased from or who others have purchased from and have recommended them. So yeah, those are my tips on kind of buying pre-owned or pre-loved, bless you baby. But the biggest thing is going to be to do your research so you know what to look for. If I didn't know what to look for when buying this, I could buy this off Canal Street and think that it was authentic. So really do your research. Um, but yeah, I'm overall really, really happy with this. And now I kind of want to go on another vacation so I can use this piece. But um, I will leave all the links and all the info I referred to in the video down below. And if you guys have any comments or questions, I will talk to you. No, leave them down below as well. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.